watching Hallmark movies already, Christmas Hallmark movies, and I'm making some brunch, I'm making some bacon, scrambled eggs, I'll come show you over here, and some waffles, because that's what was voted for, it goes over biscuits today, and then I am going to also make some pumpkin cookies in a little bit, but first, I'm going to get these on. I just got my headband on so I could pull back my hair while I'm cooking, um, but we're also going to carve some pumpkins behind me. I am going to get back to my Hallmark movie and finishing up the eggs and waffles and then we're going to eat some bread. Finished carving the pumpkins. I'll show you guys when we light them up tonight. This one's Lexi, mine, Chris's, and Gavin's. So we're going over my parents for a little bit of a barbecue and I made those pumpkin cookies that I've shown you guys in years past. It's just two ingredients, a spice cake mix and a can of pumpkin puree. And you just mix that together and set the oven at 350 and um, spoon them onto the cookie sheet and you put them in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. And they look like this, they're very soft cookie. They're delicious and they're very low calorie. Look how fancy, we've got some jalapeno poppers that Francesca and my dad made. We got some wok. No, not yet. Is it good? Bomb. Homemade wok. We got salad, potatoes, tri-tip. We got a chorus in the background apparently too. Good times. <laughs> candies to all the cute little kids that have come by. Trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> and do you love how we're in like our camping chairs? Oh. Excuse me. Um, don't you love how we're in our camper chairs and then our skeletons are in the rockers? Right. We didn't want to mess up the decorations. <laughs> watching Hallmark Channel, and I just got up my new King of Christmas tree. Look at this beauty. And got out the Christmas pillows, and I took down all of the Halloween decor that I am now putting away over there. And getting out the Christmas. Cannot wait to get all decorated. So tonight we're having the chicken fajitas from Eat to Evolve. You're hearing the laundry in the background, sorry. Also, look at that tree. Wowzers. All I can keep, all I keep saying is, the tree's so pretty. It makes my day. Anyways, let's see how delicious this tastes because it smells so dang good. It also came with a little container of wok, but we also got the salsa, sour cream. We have extra wok if we want it, a little bit of cheese. You can just eat it straight like this if you're having no carbs and it'd be perfect. It's Chris and I's two year anniversary and the traditional gift is cotton. So he got me this adorable pillow. It says to my wife, never forget that I love you. If I could give you one thing in life, I would give you the ability to see yourself through my eyes. Only then would you realize how special you are to me, love, husband. So I just thought that was super cute. And we're going to a really nice dinner tonight that I can't wait for. I'm doing my makeup right now, but I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. Good morning. It's our anniversary, like I said, November 3rd. Um, our two-year anniversary where Chris and I have been together for almost four years in January. Next January, we'll be together for four years. I can't believe that. Um, but I'm on my way to work. I just um washed my hair this morning so it's extra fluffy and curly i didn't curl any of it i just scrunched it and you know put some product in it so hopefully it stays non-frizzy all day um i did kind of like a rose gold makeup look and this is not what i'm wearing to dinner i'm um, just to work i didn't want to have to wear my dress to work today i just wasn't feeling it <laughs> So I'm going to get into work, but I just wanted to say a quick hi. And of course, I will share with you guys where we go tonight. 
So I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing for our anniversary dinner out, and I will share with you where we're going because I totally forget. It's somewhere on Camelback Mountain. It's a really nice restaurant overlooking the city, so I'm really excited to go. Anyways, this really pretty dress. I love the little ruffle details on the edges. Um, I have stockings on just because I was a little bit concerned with how short it was in the middle, but when I walk, it really doesn't show anything, so that's good, but I still wear stockings. And then I have these cute boots on from Just Fab. That is Holly's bone in the background, <laughs> sorry. But it has like a little bit of a heel, and they're really comfortable. I'm wearing the necklace that Chris got me for one of our Valentines, uh, or I don't know if it was Valentines or anniversary, and earrings that match. I had to come to Starbucks today on November 4th because red cups are back if you can call them red cups that is <laughs> they're fancy designs this year and I think I'm in the drive-thru I think that I'm gonna get a peppermint mocha white peppermint mocha today to celebrate so I got this pretty striped one today and this is white mocha non-fat um, white peppermint mocha it is actually with non-fat milk. I got a tall. And then, let me show you one more thing. He gave me one of these cups because I was like, oh my gosh, how cute is that? I saw the little tag on the other cup that he had on the counter and he was like, oh, let me get you one. He's so sweet and he got me one. So this one's so pretty with the ribbons and everything and the little tag. How cute is that? Um, I will insert a picture of all of the different patterns that they have for the red cups this year, but definitely a lot of fun. All right, we got our wristbands. We're going to Ivy and Sage, there's Ailey's mama's. Where's yours, mama? She's angry because there's a line and she doesn't like lines, <laughs> but it will be worth it. Almost there, they gave us pizza muffins, so they're on better terms with me at least. <laughs> We're going in. Almost. Dun dun. Don't mind the clutter everywhere because I'm getting ready for Christmas and was taking down Halloween. So ignore that in the background, but I wanted to share some of the fun Christmas things I purchased at Ivy and Sage, but also a few things that I found and Mama B. Um, oh, I don't mind this either. I have to put that away. <laughs> Anyways, so first I'm gonna start with the Ivy and Sage items. So I got this really beautiful Santa plate. And then I got two of these very rustic looking jingle bells. And similarly from the same collection, I got these bells with metal ribbon. And then these, this guy and these little guys are from that same person who made the adorable ghost that I got at Halloween time. So I got this cute little guy and this cute little guy. And this is the company. She has a um, Instagram. It's called Strictly Primitive. And then the Grinch is so awesome, is he not? Everyone was going crazy for him. He was flying off the shelves. He's so stinking cute. I love his little scarf with the 
snowflake and just everything about him is so cute. I can't wait to show you guys where I put him. And then Mama B found this little guy. Apparently he's a hot commodity. He's a snowman pillow. And you might be able to still find him on PotteryBarn.com um, or at your local Pottery Barn. But she found one for me and Haley and herself, which was so sweet of her. I'm going to put him in our bedroom. I, I'm too scared to leave him in the living room just because I am worried the doggies might think he's a toy. So I'm going to put him on top of our bed. And then look at this vintage little mug, reindeer mug. This is also from Pottery Barn. But I know there's one kind of similar at Big Lots right now. So if you can't find it at Pottery Barn, try Big Lots. But I love that it's that vintage look and it's so cute and country. I love it. Oh, I forgot one thing that I found at Ivy and Sage was this little guy. Drummer man. He's going to go on my Nutcracker themed tree this year. And then last but not least, I ordered my advent calendar from Godiva. I actually got it off of Macy's.com because it was on sale there. And when you open this up, there are all the little spots to open it up. Hopefully they're not melted inside because it was 90 degrees today. <laughs> Our weather is so unpredictable these days. But I'm going to put this in the fridge just in case. But you guys will be seeing this during Vlogmas because I am going to be doing Vlogmas if you're not aware what that is, that is vlogging every day in December until Christmas. <laughs> what? What you want? <laughs> hmm? What you want from Mama? You guys, I'm in love with my nails and I don't think that you can tell in the sun. Hold on. But she did an ombre with a little bit of glitter. So pink and white ombre with a little bit of glitter. And it looks so natural. My rings are all messed up right now, but it looks so natural and pretty. All right, we're having some Papa John's pizza tonight and some root beer. And we're gonna watch a movie to get in the Christmas spirit because tomorrow we're going to be in full on Christmas decorating mode. And you guys already know I put up the tree the other day and it's been so such a pretty ambiance for the week, even though I didn't have time to do much else. So pretty. I just realized I haven't vlogged all day, so I thought I would show you guys. We've been hustling and bustling with the Christmas stuff. So switched out the clock to this sign here. And Chris helped me hang these art pieces up today. These are a little bit hidden because of the Christmas tree, but you guys can, let me try to back all the way up so you can see. And then I put, these were in our master and I brought them over here for some extra seating for Christmas time. I'm gonna hang wreaths on each side of this one, or I'm not sure if I'm gonna do bows or wreaths. Um, only reason I'm not sure is because of how it's hidden back here. It might be prettier as bows. Um, on each. We'll see what I do. I'll obviously share as I go. And I still just have the tree up and then getting some of the Christmas stuff out and organized. Um, it's all over the place right now, <laughs> as you can see. But I'm just starting to get everything out and see what I have and start getting the creative juices going. And I'll show you more next week, of course. And all throughout vlogmas we are going off to date night well it's a italy date night where you make your dinner you like we're making gnocchi and i think they're showing us a demo of how to make tiramisu but they're making it the chefs are making it down to east ray road excuse siri she's giving us directions to get to the place but i will try to film a little bit of when we're there but i'm, I'm not really sure if i'm allowed to like film the chefs um as we're doing our stuff but i'll try to film us doing it making all the stuff eating all the stuff because we get to eat it after too. Walking up to class. I don't think I told you guys, but my parents are also taking the class for their anniversary.